Well, I joined the Brazilians, honestly, because they asked. That's really why. I, I was going to be a mechanical engineer. Like, I like math, I like science, knowing how things work. Um, yeah, just sort of the application of mathematics, the real world. Like, I had never really thought of it. it when I was a kid or when I was a teenager, the idea had never occurred to me. I was going to be an engineer. So that, that's where my life took a big turn. As you know, my time in university um, went on. It's my faith became more important to me, and it just it just it took time. It just sort of matured, and then someone sort of recognized it and said, "You know, you would be. You know, have you ever considered becoming a priest?" It, it was like I was leading my whole life on my own until that time when someone asked me, you know, have you ever considered becoming a priest? And then it was like, wow, I've sort of found my purpose in life. And I didn't understand what I was supposed to do or how I was supposed to go or, like it was all very fuzzy, but just that experience of thinking, now my life has a direction and a purpose, I have to follow this. When I thought, if I'm going to become a priest, like I have to give up the engineering. It was only later, like through God's providence, because I met a bazillion, that I realized I could do both. Like you can match your natural gifts with God's plan. Yo conocí a los basilianos hace 15 años, 16 años, cuando llegaron por primera vez a Cali, Colombia, aquí. Um, yo era un niño, yo fui creciendo un poco con medida que la comunidad se iba como proyectando hacia los sectores, hacia los barrios, y me encantó mucho la forma como ellos se entregan a la comunidad en servicio, por amor y por seguimiento a la causa de Jesús. Like, I didn't know what a religious priest was. I didn't know there was a, a distinction to be made between religious priests and diocesan priests. Now I know the difference for sure. But I thought priests are what, or I thought priests did what's done on Sunday, and that's it. Like the sacraments, you know, like reconciliation, first communion, marriages, funerals, and uh, of course the Eucharist. I thought that's what priests did. I didn't know that priests also taught or that they work in hospitals, or they do mission work, go to different countries and you know, proclaim the gospel there. I had no, my, my idea of priest was very, very small and limited. It was confined to my experience of the church of the time, was just going to Sunday Mass. Eh, mi padre murió en, mientras él trabajaba eh, en el pueblo donde yo vivía. La guerrilla entró y se tomó el pueblo, y también entró, eh, entraron los soldados. Ellos asesinaron una cantidad de gente y entre esos cayó mi padre. Mi padre. ¿Cuántos años tiene? En ese, en ese en el momento tenía siete años, más o menos, u ocho años. Y al lado de mi padre murió mi tío y algunos familiares más. Y yo dije, tal vez una, una esperanza por, por la cual luchar es 
a través de la iglesia. A partir de allí yo recibí apoyo de un sacerdote y empecé a trabajar con él en la parroquia y empezó a gustarme porque... ¿En pueblo? Sí, en la parroquia de mi pueblo. Y él empezó a luchar por la gente desamparada. Yo le apunté hacia el sacerdocio desde allí. Me gustó mucho, yo quería estar siempre en el altar y me soñaba estando en el altar. One of the great parts about the Basilians is, is that we live in community. So we have like mass, morning prayer, and evening prayer together. So there's a structure to each day. And when you live in a community, it, it helps you to, to maintain that relationship with God. Because, you know, sometimes when you wake up at 6.45 in the morning, you're not too excited about going to mass or, you know, saying morning prayer. If, last night was late but because you know other people are going to be there and you know you have a responsibility to the community to do your part to help live the spiritual life then you go so some days the the confrères carry me as it were and some days i help carry them so there's like a system of support it's you it's like you create a subculture within the greater culture of the world. Like we create with our house a culture of prayer and of religious life within a greater secular uh, culture. 